your Weather Now forecast. Cold enough. Right now, we've got temperatures in the teens. We'll still have those teens for temperatures at 9, maybe a couple of flurries around. But the southeast breeze that's blowing will turn northwest and bring an even colder air later on tonight. We've seen snows just north and east of Omaha all day. They've moved a little farther away. Maybe some flurries left in Audubon. Carroll seeing the snow moving out here over the last hour as the back edge of this upper-level storm system starts to move away. You see the swath of snow from the Dakotas, northwest Iowa, central Iowa, now moving into eastern Iowa and also Illinois. This is an upper-level storm system that, as it slides by, kind of opens the floodgates for cold air. Meantime, there's a big ridge building on the west coast here, so as warm air moves up the west coast, cold air gets dislodged from the Arctic and Canada comes southward. There's one more little ripple in here, though, that has to come by our area tomorrow evening. And once that happens, the really, really cold air comes in. Meantime, a live check with our SkyCam network shows you this view from 72nd and Crown Point, the TV station transmitter tower out there. You see the clouds that still linger and the dusting of snow on the ground from this morning. It was six-tenths of an inch of snow that came down today, this morning, in Omaha. Here's our hourly planner for tonight and early tomorrow. Clouds, temperatures creeping up a couple more degrees yet this evening. And then falling into tomorrow morning with partly cloudy skies and single digit temperatures and a northwest breeze. We're 16 now. There's a south wind at 16 miles an hour. So the feels like is one, plenty cold. And the almanac page shows that's now the high of the day. Snowfall six tenths of an inch since midnight. It was seven for a low. Jim Purley's in Little Sioux, Iowa. He tells me just over an inch of snow there. But Viewers in Denison and Carroll had several inches of snow. They're at 10 and 9. We are at 16 in Omaha, but factor in the breeze. Wind chill 1 here, 8 below in Carroll. A cold evening, and it will be many of these cold evenings and nights to deal with here this week. A little surface low, upper level dis disturbance off to the east of us at 11. Swings on by. We get a northwest breeze for a time. The wind's lightening up already by morning, and lighter winds tomorrow with a mix of clouds and sunshine. Then there's this. Uh, Arctic front reinforcing upper level disturbance comes by. We could get some flurries and snow showers, a little dusting of snow possible tomorrow evening. And then it just opens the floodgates for really, really cold air. Even colder weather here on Wednesday, where wind chills in the morning could be as low as 25 below zero. Sunshine through the day, winds a little lighter in the afternoon, but a extremely cold day coming up there, barely getting above zero in Omaha. Nine, let's say our low temperature by around 5 a.m. The northwest winds blowing by that time. Cold start in the morning, single digits with a northwest breeze, but the winds drop off in the afternoon and 17 degrees. Plenty cold and well below average, but not as cold as Wednesday is going to be because, again, in the morning, there'll be a breeze and the wind chill with the temperature at 5 below zero could be 25 below zero. Two in the afternoon gets down to 7 below Wednesday evening, then temperatures rise late night into early Thursday and get up to 28 degrees in the afternoon Thursday before another Arctic front comes down and another day with low wind chills and single digit temperatures on Friday before it's not quite so bad for the weekend. Wow, two?